Now, the first law of chemical combination is the law of multiple proportion proposed by John Dalton in 1808. What does this law talk about? It states that if two elements can combine to give more than one compound, for example, sulfur and oxygen can combine to give SO2 and SO3, the same sulfur. So it states that the ratio at which they do so are in simple multiple proportion. Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through the four laws of chemical combination. Now in chemistry, we have two types of changes. We have physical changes and we have chemical changes. Physical changes are changes in which no new substance is formed. For example, if you put water in the freezer, it gets blocked and it has changed from liquid state to solid state. Then, no new substance is formed because when it melts, it turns to water and it has to it is still water. Meanwhile, in chemical changes, new substances are formed. For example, if sodium reacts with chlorine, it forms sodium chloride and that is a new substance entirely and you cannot reverse the process by an ordinary chemical method. The first law states that matter can never be created nor destroyed in the chemical reaction. During chemical reaction, matter is not created and matter is not destroyed. Although it can change from one form to another or from one state to another. That is the law of conservation of mass and it was proposed by Antoine Lavoisier in 1789. What does that mean? If you are given 2 grams of hydrogen and 16 grams of oxygen these two elements react to give 18 grams of water. So that's H2O. The mass of hydrogen is 16 grams in the reaction, and oxygen is 16 grams, and hydrogen is 2 grams. After the reaction, the total mass is 18 grams. Although the matter has changed, Hydrogen and oxygen itself have changed to water. It has changed state, but the mass is not destroyed, and mass or the matter is not created. It only changed from one form to another. So that is the law of conservation of mass. All pure samples of chemical substances contain the same element combined in the same proportion by mass. That is the law of definite proportion or constant composition. For example, in Nigeria, water is made up of H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. And the mass of hydrogen is 1 and 2 molecules of hydrogen react to form water. So that means the mass of hydrogen is 1 times 2, which is equals 2, let's say 2 grams. Oxygen is O. That's 16. And the percentage of the total mass is 18 grams. Therefore, the percentage of hydrogen in water is simply 2 over 18 times 100, which is 11.1%. That is the percentage of hydrogen in water. If you take water from Nigeria, so America, it will still remain like this. So the composition remains the same and in the same proportion. It will still be H2O, 11.1% of uh, hydrogen and around 89% of oxygen. If you take it to Spain, it is still water. It is still H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. So no matter where you take it to, it remains the same. So long it is still in a pure form. That is the law of definite proportion. The third law of chemical combination 
is the law of reciprocal proportions proposed by Jeremiah Richter in 1792. The law of reciprocal proportions states that if two elements can combine with a, with the third element, for example, this is if uh, we have let's say copper and we have uh, sulfur and oxygen. If these two elements, sulfur and oxygen, can combine with a third element, so if sulfur combined with copper and oxygen combined with copper, the ratio at which they combine, it is the same or close or multiple of the ratio at which they combine with each other. In copper sulfide, this is copper and this is sulfur, the ratio at which they combine is copper is 64 and sulfur is 32 so this is one ratio two this uh, sulfur is two now look at copper oxide in copper oxide this is the ratio here is two here is one because 32 one 16 divided by 16 is one 32 divided by 16 is two so the ratio of sulfur and oxygen in combining with copper is simply 2 ratio 1 so that is the ratio of oxygen ratio of sulfur to oxygen in combining with copper now how about oxygen and sulfur combining with themselves once they combine with themselves this is SO2 sulfur and oxygen so in this reaction you see that sulfur 1 32 gram that is the mass of sulfur oxygen is 16 but two more two molecules of oxygen is combining so that's 16 times 2 which is 32 so this ratio becomes 1 ratio 1 32 divided by 32 is 1 and 32 divided by 32 is 1 so look at it now the ratio at which they they, they combine here is 2 ratio 1 while the ratio at which they combine with themselves is 1 ratio 1. You see? So they are just close. 2 times 1 is 2, just simple multiple. So that's what uh, the law of reciprocal proportion talks about. Now, the first law of chemical combination is the law of multiple proportion proposed by John Dalton in 1808. What does this law talk about? It states that if two elements can combine to give more than one compound, for example, sulfur and oxygen can combine to give SO2 and SO3, the same sulfur. So it states that the ratio at which they do so are in simple multiple proportion. Looking at this reaction, the ratio of oxygen in both cases is simply 32 ratio 48 so that is the ratio of oxygen in SO2 and SO3 and this is simply 2 ratio 3 you see so they are in whole numbers and simple multiples so that is the law of multiple proportion so this brings us to the end of uh, the laws of chemical combination thanks for watching and don't fail to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos